invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed. A year ago, when Luigi Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write her and tell her about his adventures. So now, we look over Luigi's shoulder as he writes another letter to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, it's now almost one year I'm in America, and everything is a new and exciting. Like a traffic system they got here in Chicago. Streets is a full of people and the cars. In our little town in Italy is also traffic. Streets is a full of people and the goats. <laughs> I'm gonna remember how every day a goat to run over somebody. Over here is a much safer. I'm in Chicago one year, and I'm gonna never see anybody get a hit by a goat. <laughs> Mamma mia, I explain to you traffic system in America. It is a very simple. Here they have a light. Red the light to mean the car is a stop, but people are go. Green the light to means the car is a go, people are stop. It's a nice and a simple. Only trouble is, Mamma Mia, in the middle, they got a yellow light. <laughs> I'm here a one a year, still I don't know what is the mean a yellow light. First, I think, is maybe to keep away mosquitoes. <laughs> then I'm a stand on the corner and a watch and a watch and a watch. And uh, now I think I know. Yellow light is uh, to mix up everybody and to give a cop enough time to hand out the ticket. <laughs> Mamma mia, sometimes when I think about this uh, traffic system, I, I think America is uh, very good. But uh, maybe it's uh, safer for a man in Italy. Goats uh, don't have offenders. <laughs> this reminds me of our countryman Pasquale, who has a spaghetti palace the next door to my antique store, and who bring me to this country. He is a still one thing I should marry is a fat daughter Rosa. Pasquale, he's a got a, what they call here a single track of mine. And the Rosa, she's a, the super chief. <laughs> like a, this morning, my door opened and... Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hello, Pasquale. Luigi, my countryman, all the night long, I'm not to sleep better because I'm a worry about you. Just look under my eyes. What do you see? Your nose. <laughs> no, no. What do you see on the top of my nose? More nose. <laughs> Luigi, look under my eyes. You see deep, dark circles. That's from a worrying about you. And you know why I'm worrying about you? Why, Pasquale? Because the trouble with you is you never go out. You in a store all the time. All the day long, you sit and read. You sit and you sit. You use your head too much. <laughs> Pasquale, the reason I sit and read is because I'm a study the English language. What's it good to study English when the only one you talk to is me and we talk Italian? <laughs> Luigi, is the time you went out and meet other people. Why are you shut yourself up? you like in a closet. You must go out and live and laugh and love. How I do this, Pasquale? Take out of my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> I'm back in the closet again. <laughs> All right, have it your way. I'm not going to bother you about marrying a Rosa. I'm going to come here to tell you to go out and have a good time. That's good for your health. Where do you think I should go, Pasquale? Oh, we're all the tired of business men go at night. To bed? No, they go to night to clubs. They have a bed there? <laughs> Luigi is a night to club, but not a Turkish bath. <laughs> Pasquale, I like it to go out and enjoy myself when I go to my first night to club. And I do the things American people do. But it's a no enjoyment to go out to with your daughter, Rosa. No enjoyment to going out to with a Rosa, eh? <laughs> Luigi Bosco, look at you. Five foot to four, curly hair, two different color eyes, <laughs> big ears, a little nose, a crooked teeth, a green coat, a belt in the back, sneakers. Pasquale, 
Nice to talk, but don't it change my mind. <laughs> Listen to your shrimp or your green horn of you. Nobody's going to go out with you but a big dope. So why don't you go out with my Rosa? <laughs> Pasquale, Rosa is a very nice girl, but not for me. Then who is it for you? You've been in America one year, you go out with a nobody. Why? Because no American girls go out with you. That's not true. I never ask American girl. Luigi, you couldn't get an American girl even if you were born an American and a girl is born in Italy. <laughs> I prove you wrong, Pasquale. I get the American girl. All right, my little man. I'm telling you what I do. I show you Pasquale's a sport. If you get an American girl to go out with you tonight, I pay check at a nightclub. But if you don't get a girl to go out with you tonight, you take out a Rosa. Is it not the fair, Pasquale? Oh, oh little mouse is talking big. He's not so sure of himself. Huh? I'm sure of myself, Pasquale. I get American girl and go out tonight, or my name is not Luigi Bosco. What do you say to that? Goodbye, Sam. <laughs> Hello, my teacher, Miss Spaulding. Hello, Mr. Luigi. What brings you to my classroom? It's something I want to talk to you about. But the first, here's an apple. What a lovely red apple. Miss Spaulding, if I have my way, I bring you ten apples every day. In a one a month, you have your own push cart. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Luigi, it's nice of you to think of me that way. Miss Spaulding, I'm always to think about you. I remember when I first started in your night school class. Somebody tells me how much little salary you make. You know, since that day I'm coming to school with my own chalk. <laughs> Mr. Luigi, that wasn't necessary. And remember last Christmas, the whole class chips in and buys you a fountain pen. And you found the one extra present, handkerchief. That handkerchief was yours? Out of my own pocket. I pay for it myself. <laughs> Mr. Luigi, that's very touching. You got to no idea how I feel about you. When I stand up in a night school and I'm a recite the Jack and a Jill went up at the hill, <laughs> then I'm saying it to myself, Luigi, when are you and a Mrs. Spalding going to make that trip? <laughs> I had no idea you felt this way. You got to no idea how I'm a feel. Remember when Schultz, that the stupid, delicatessen of man, he puts a tack on your chair and you sit on it? Believe me, Miss Spaulding, the pain went right through my heart. <laughs> Please, Miss Spaulding, is there something I must know? What is it? Would a nice American girl like you go out with a poor Italian fellow like me? Of course, Mr. Luigi. I wouldn't be an American if Columbus hadn't discovered this place. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, Pasquale is wrong. Tonight we go tonight to the club. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Luigi, but I have another date for tonight. Oh. Well, you sure you tell the truth? Maybe you think I can't afford it. Not at all. In fact, the fellow I'm going out with tonight's very poor. He doesn't have a penny. Oh, he's another school teacher. <laughs> no. But it's important for me. I must get American a girl for tonight. Why tonight? Because of Pasquale. He's a say I no kind of get American a girl. Now, Mr. Luigi, it's easy to know girls. Have you seen any American girls you like? Sure, I see. Well, then it's very simple. Why don't you call one of them up? How? Just use your phone book. Thank you, my teacher, Miss Spaulding. I do it. <laughs> Mrs. Spaulding says he uses the phone book. Sounds funny, but I use it. Chicago Telephone Directory. Classified. Let me see. Girls, I look under a G. <laughs> Garbage disposal. <laughs> Garment bags, gaskets, generators. Ah, ah, now I'm getting it close. Girdles. <laughs> Glass. Mamma mia, where's the girls? That's so funny, there's no list for girls. Must be all out of town. I try the telephone book. Ah, uh -huh. here's a lot of names. American the telephone book must be full of good American names. 
Ah, look. Oh, Hulahan. Prisonatsky Swenson Horowitz. Bajinian Chung Lu Kraus Meyer. Smith. Ah, that's a good. I think I look up nice American name. Mary Smith. Huh. Let me see. Mary Smith. Mary Smith, Mary Smith, Mary Smith, Mary... <laughs> Must be a very popular girl to have her name in it so many times. <laughs> and the look at all the different addresses that she's got. Come, oh, Mamiya, people can't get a place to live with this girl if she's got a hundred apartments. <laughs> well, I think I call her up. I show Pasquale. I find a American girl tonight. Hello, Mary Smith. This is Luigi Bosco. Can you go out on a date with me tonight? This is Mr. Smith. What did you say? Well, I try another girl. <laughs> I get a different American name. J Jones. Betty Jones. That's a nice. Betty Jones. 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 Hello. Hello. Is it this uh, Miss Betty Jones? Yeah, who's this? This is a Luigi. Oh, gee, Louie. No, no, Luigi. Oh, cut it, Louie. When'd you get back? I'm a never went. <laughs> Say, are you pulling my leg? Oh, the telephone is not the possible. <laughs> Why? Luigi Bosco. You're not kidding. No. It's a funny thing. In America, nobody says a goodbye. <laughs> well, it looks like a Pasquale is going to win us a bet. I'm going to try one more girl. Oh, here's a nice name. Susie Brown. I try. <laughs> Ever stand for one, please. What number are you calling, please? I'm not calling the number. I'm calling Susie Brown, Evanston of 41. That's a suburban call. I'll have to connect you with the toll operator. Hmm. Phone a company has a two sizes. Toll operator and a small operator. <laughs> well, I guess a toll operator is for long distance. <laughs> Listen... For Luigi Bosco, maybe you got the medium size operator? <laughs> oh, you're a kidder. Sorry. Your number is busy. Mamma mia. Operator, are you busy? What do you mean, sir? Well, I'm going to a night the club tonight. And I'd like to know if you like it to come with me. I'm sorry. It's against the company rules. Then you want to go? I didn't say that. I just said it was against company rules. Oh. However, it's not against the company rules to be in front of the Wrigley Building at 8 o'clock wearing red pumps, open toes, mesh stockings, 51 gauge, blue hat with brown feather, and I'll have on a scrumptious fur coat imitation I.J. Fox. <laughs> the name's Peggy Marshak. <gasps> oh, shh. The supervisor's coming. Okay. Deposit another five cents, please. And how will I recognize you? Well, well, that's uh, going to be hard. Wait. I know how you recognize me easy. How? I'm going to carry a balloon. <laughs> Now for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. So now, Mamma Mia, I'm gonna have it tonight, my first date with American a girl. If you see me now, Mamma Mia, you think maybe your boy Luigi is a crazy. Here it is a Sunday, and I'm already take a bath. <laughs> After that, I pour on myself some special stuff I buy from a barber. It's a very expensive. It costs me ten cents a half a milk bottle. <laughs> now, now you can smell me all the way to Italy. <laughs> also, to make good impression, I'm going to dress up extra special. You should see my suit now. Looks a brand new after I'm going to get through washing it. <laughs> so now, so now I'm going to tell Pasquale... All about the, my date with American girl. Hello, Pasquale. Huh? 
Well, you like this. My eyes say it's a Luigi, but my nose it don't believe in my eyes. <laughs> Stop making fun of me, Pasquale. I'm all dressed up for the night the club. Oh, Luigi, my son, I'm almost a forgot. Are you all dressed up to take out of my Rosa? No, I'm going to take out a telephone operator. Where you get a her? From a telephone company. <laughs> Must be a new kind of service. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm not here to argue. Remember what you promised me. If I get a date to myself, you pay for the night club. That's the matter. You're crazy. You think I'm going to lock the barn when somebody's not going out with my horse? <laughs> but, Pasquale, this afternoon you promised me. Then it was impossible for you to get a girl. It was impossible for me to keep a promise. Now, is it possible for you to get a girl? Is it impossible for me to keep a promise? You mean, you mean you're not going to pay? My friend, I give you my answer in two words. Impossible. <laughs> Pasquale, you think you're killing my good time, huh? Well, you won't. I'm going to use my own money. I'm going to take a girl to night club. We eat, we drink, we dance, so we go home in a taxi. And then maybe even I buy her a flower. Oh, how much money you got, a little man? A dollar and eighty. A dollar eighty, you big, stupid. Uh, you couldn't. Uh, you. Uh, dollar eighty, eh? <laughs> sure, that's a fine, a fine. With all of that money, you can have a wonderful night. You can go any place, eat all you want. You sure, Pasquale? Well, I prove you. Here, look at my menu ham sandwich at 20 cents, uh -huh. with a pickle at 20 cents. Uh -huh. With a potato chips, 20 cents. With a bread, 25 cents. <laughs> Pasquale, people eat during the daytime. Nighttime food is sure to be cheaper. Sure, that's right. So maybe a sandwich is only 15 cents. Or you order a whole dinner. In my restaurant, is 65 cents. In a night the club, is a night the rates, maybe 50 cents. You think... You think I can also order wine? Sure, wine. I charge a 15 cents, and maybe they only charge a nickel. Then I have enough to left for a taxi. Sure. That's right. Taxi is only 20 cents a mile. I go only half a mile is a 10 cents. <laughs> sure. You see, Luigi, you take a girl out of tonight, the club, like a Chez Paris. You eat it, you drink, you take a taxi, you still have a 40 cents left over. What are you going to do with so much money? Let me see. I know. If I like a girl tomorrow night, I take her out again. <laughs> now, America, I love you. You like a papa to me. Almost. Well, it's a five minutes after eight. I wonder where is the girl. I'm standing here with my balloon. Maybe she's not to come. Oh. There's a girl with the red the shoes, the black the coat. Oh, Mr. Marshank. Here's me. I beg your pardon. I'm a fellow make a date with you. Luigi Bosco. See the balloon? Oh, brother. No. Not as a brother. It's a me, Luigi. <laughs> well, it was a very pleasant evening. Goodbye. Oh, but the lady. What about the date with a nightclub? Are where are you gonna take me? Nice, quiet place. Chez Paris. Chez Paris? Oh, you must be really loaded. Appearances are certainly deceitful. Well, what have I got to lose? Okay, let's go. Yes, right this way, I have a nice table for the... Hey, ain't you Luigi Bosco? Remember me, Tony Manelli, Napoli. My father, fisherman. Tony Manelli, that's right. You little boy, now you big ahead away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Please, Luigi, no kiss here. Okay. <laughs> Luigi, I, I understand you're going with Pasquale's daughter, Rose. Last time I see Rose, she's a big, just like elephant. <laughs> but this little girl, she look just like a chicken. Don't worry, Rose is still big like elephant. This chicken is somebody else. <laughs> well, have a good time, Luigi. Fred, throw down the front a special table. 
Well, a good evening, miss. That's a nice fellow, Luigi. Gee, Luigi, you certainly know the right people. Well, you see, I know him since I'm a baby. My mother used to clean a fish for his father. What about your father? My father, ah, there was a man. Every morning, winter, summer, snow, rain, he get up at five o'clock in the morning. What for? To wake up my mother to go to work. It's a bigger place, no? Uh-huh. Right this way, sir. Your table. May I have your hat? It's uh, no use you take. No fit to you anyway. <laughs> oh, you're so continental. Excuse me while I go powder my nose. Order for me, will you, Luigi? Uh, here's your menu, sir. Thank you, Mr. Waiter. I'm uh, going to order a big meal. Now, let me see. First, we start with... Uh, with... Uh, waiter. I think there's a mistake in your menu. What's wrong? It'll say here, ham sandwich, two dollars. <laughs> Ain't there a decimal point in the wrong place? <laughs> Should have been 20 cents. <laughs> no, it's right, all right. Olives. Olives are one dollar. Must have been very expensive pits. <laughs> Lemma chops are four dollars. Mister, you prepare something special for me? Yes, yes. What would you like? Ham a sandwich for 20 cents. Well, <laughs> 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 sir, you must be joking. Our cover charge is four dollars. Then I take away the tablecloth. <laughs> Well, while you're thinking it over, would you like to order a drink? That's what I like. Good, good. What'll it be? Two glasses of water. <laughs> what can I do? I'll bring it. Two glasses of water, 80 cents. <laughs> Mamma mia. Dr. Pasquale, he's to do this on a me purpose. Now, what am I going to do? Oh, Luigi, I'm enjoying myself immensely. Uh, what did you order for us? Nothing. Oh, you're so considerate. You wouldn't order without me. Well, I know just what I want. Steak. I was afraid of that. So let's go. Go? We just came. And they have such a good floor show. Danny Thomas and the Fart Flying Yucopus. Listen to Peggy. Listen to Peggy, I must tell you the truth. The reason we go is because I ain't got no... Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello, hello. I see you celebrate. Well, sit down. We join you. Pasquale, we're going to... Pasquale, don't push. Then stay. We all have a good time. Let's stay, Luigi. Oh, you're here alone, Pasquale? Now, I'm here with my daughter, Rosa, the two of us. Where are three chairs? <laughs> Rosa, come here. Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello. <laughs> hello, Rosa. Say hello to the young lady. Hello, young lady. Hello, Rosa. Anything else you want me to say, Papa? No, shut up your face. <laughs> Luigi, we're very happy to be your guest. I'm a glad that somebody's a happy. Well, we're going to eat. I love the food. Luigi, you eat yet? No, the food here is too rich. <laughs> I know just what you mean. Well, I'm order. Waiter. Yes, sir. Uh, put this down. Uh, two shrimp cocktails, uh, two vegetable soup, uh, two chef salad, uh, two T-bone steak, uh, two mashed potatoes, uh, two string of beans, two bottles of beer, two Boston cream pie, two cups of coffee, and uh, two plates of ice cream. Will that be all? No, I'll have two of the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best supper I'm having in my life. A steak, a potatoes, a pie, a ice cream. What could have come after such a supper? The electric chair. <laughs> Luigi, you're a wonderful host. I'm so full I could have bust. When? <laughs> well, it was 
Farley. I hope you and the Ross enjoy the meal. Very much, Tony. I'm sorry, Luigi, don't eat it because the man who pays the check, he should eat. It's a good idea, Pasquale. You eat, you pay the check. <laughs> now, Luigi, I'm not going to take this pleasure away from you. Please, foster yourself, Pasquale. <laughs> No, it's no use. Tony, give Luigi the check. Tony, Tony, I'm ashamed, but I must have told Luigi, you that I Luigi, Luigi, no... sit down. Huh? Pasquale. <laughs> Your check. <laughs> I'm not going to pay. <laughs> Luigi's going to pay. Oh, no. You wait till you pay. <laughs> I'll die before I pay. You wash the dish. No, no. First you pay. What a cheap frame-up. <laughs> All right, I pay, but I'm going to never come here again. The food is a terrible. Huh, Rosa? I'll have two of the same. Oh, shut up, you pay. <laughs> well, Tony, thank you. Uh, sit down, sit down, Luigi. Don't run away. I'm going to explain why I give Pasquale the check. Why? Well... Six years ago, Pasquale bring me to Chicago. Uh -huh. He promised me big opportunity. What do you think is a big opportunity? Don't tell me. You're right, Rosa. <laughs> One year, he make my life miserable trying to marry me to Rosa. But tonight, tonight, I finally get even with him. And thanks to you, Luigi, my countryman. You're welcome, <laughs> Tony. But please, now we have to go. No, no, no. Now you and your girlfriend sit down and eat. Eat? Yes, the food is on the house. Thanks, Tony. But if it's the same to you, please put the food on the table. <laughs> All right, what are you going to have? I'm going to let the Peggy order. Peggy, your favor, please. Steak, potatoes, pie, ice cream, coffee, bread and butter. <laughs> okay. Oh, Anna, Tony, one more thing. What's that? No water. <laughs> Well, uh, good night to Peggy. Don't go, Luigi. Is it this American custom? Standing in a hallway? Yeah. But don't lean on the doorbell if you wake up all the neighbors. Peggy, I'm going to tell you something. It's the first time tonight I'm going to go out to an American girl. Tell the truth. You know, have a good time, huh? Oh, no, Luigi. I had a wonderful time. You did? Uh -huh. I don't believe you. Oh, yes. And do you know what I like about you, Luigi? You like? Yes. Every other fellow I go out with, all they can think of is wrestling. You're different. If you like, I study wrestling. No! <laughs> Luigi, I'm not doing anything Tuesday night. Maybe you're not doing anything Tuesday night. So what? It means that we're both are not doing anything on Tuesday night. No. It means we have a date. Oh, oh, oh. Good night. Good night. I said good night. That's what I said. <laughs> good night. Good night. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm a closing this letter to tell you everything that come out to good. On my first date with an American girl. But maybe you think I was act a little too fresh. I let the girl kiss me. <laughs> also, Mamma Mia, I must say, I'm a very grateful to Alexander Graham Bell for an inventing a telephone operator. <laughs> P.S. You're a loving son of Luigi, the little immigrant. Next week at this time, over most of these stations, when Luigi Vasco writes another letter to Mama Vasco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Highcraft and Cy Howard and stars J. Carol Nash as Luigi Vasco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Music is directed by Lynn Murray. Bob Lamont speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.